I want to tell you about an opportunity you have if you love music or movies or all of the above. Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra will bring the Star Wars soundtrack to life in addition to the movie with the live performers. The performances start tomorrow. We've got a couple of guests to talk to us about it. Kristen Cutler from ISO is here. Thank you for being with us Thanks this for morning. Having us. This is the uh, talented Riley <laughs> Giampolo who plays trombone with the Symphony. Thanks for being with us this morning. Sure. I, I guess uh, talk to us first about uh, what's happening over the next few days, what people can see and hear out at ISO. Definitely. So we're going back old school to the beginning of the <laughs> Star Wars legacy, and uh, we'll be performing, we'll have six performances that mm -hmm. you can catch within the next week. So plenty of opportunities to see it. So we will be projecting the original movie on the huge screen at the Circle Theater, and we will be having the musicians of the ISO playing the score, that John Williams score that we all know and love, live to the movie. So it's a one-of-a-kind experience. So it's you, really cool. You may grow up being, you know, taught Vivaldi and Rachmaninoff <laughs> and all this kind of stuff, but John Williams is, for, for a popular culture figure, mm -hmm. pretty talented. I mean, is it fun music to play? It's, it's the best. I mean, we, yeah, we, we play a lot of the classic Brahms, Shostakovich symphonies, but John Williams has some amazing scores and just orchestral music that we don't get a lot of opportunities to play. When you do that, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, it's got me all choked up. <laughs> when, when you do play it, you're kind of at the mercy, not of the conductor. I mean, the, you've got to fit the film perfectly. Is that difficult? Yeah, the hardest part about that is for the conductor because he's got the movie in front of him with the bar lines moving, telling him exactly where it needs to be. And he's got to wrangle us all in together, 90 of us. And, you know, there's little things like um, E.T. is a great example where he's drunk in the kitchen and he's dropping the beer cans. Right. And we have hits right when the can hits the ground. And so... So, like, uh, you, you're, you're doing that movie magic, like, we're in the back room where they're, where they're gaffing or whatever <laughs> they call that. Um, how do these come together? Uh, just, do you sit in a room and say, you know what we ought to do? We ought to play the score to Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is kind of how it goes. We are at the mercy of the, you know, the, the movie, um, the companies, and mm -hmm. who can put together the, the movies in this way because you have to separate the score from the movie itself. So, you know, when we're doing these movie musicals, you, you'll still have the, the vocal tracks, mm -hmm. but we're, we're playing the background music. Um, so it is at the mercy of who will go through the, the process of getting that all together, but we're just really glad that, that Star Wars is one of the options. It was a, a no-brainer when we knew that it was one that we could do. Give us a moment. So if somebody goes, like your favorite moment, whether it's in the movie or how you get to play or why you get to play, is there a point you're like, yeah, this is it. We're all in it right now. Uh, well, for me, it's easy. I'm a trombone player, so okay. John Williams writes a lot of great stuff for us. Main title is easily one of the most fun things to play. There's pressure on that one. I mean, that's the one that gets yeah. the goosebumps going. Yeah, I mean, that opens, and there's nothing going on in the movie. It just kind of, like, zooms out. You've got the, you know, the whole monologue scrolling through. And it's, yeah, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of, obviously, for me, a lot of loud stuff <laughs> to play. It's just <laughs> The ride starts exciting. from there. Yeah. Uh, I have to tell you, um, our grizzled old news veteran producer um, yesterday gets the news that you're doing Little Mermaid. Oh, and man. he starts huh. just jumping up and down. He's so excited well, about this. Well, he's in good company. I have not been able to maintain my chill. <laughs> when is this going to be? <laughs> Little Mermaid happens in July 2019, so All the right. 19th and 20th. So I'll be there both nights. I don't remember Look if there's much brass in that one or not. But, uh, I think there's some fun stuff in it. There yeah, you go. Probably. That's what's coming soon and in the months to come from Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. If you do want to see and hear Star Wars, 15th, 17th, 18th, and 20th. There are still tickets available to all of those shows. Nina? Okay, Scott, thank you so much. 820 now. We have been following.